Welcome to part two of the residential heat pump water heater series. This three part series focuses on how to model heat pump water heaters serving a single dwelling for compliance with the 2019 energy code. This includes heat pump water heaters serving single family buildings, as well as individual heat pump water heaters serving low rise multifamily dwelling units. In this video, we will demonstrate how to model a generic heat pump water heater and a specific brand heat pump water heater using Energy Pro version 8.3. If you're looking for an overview of how heat pump water heaters work, please refer to part one of this series. And if you're interested in a demonstration of how to model heat pump water heaters in CBAC Res, please refer to part three of this series. When modeling low-rise residential buildings for compliance with the 2019 Energy Code, the standard design for a domestic hot water system serving individual dwellings is based on the prescriptive requirement found in Section 150.1 C8, and the proposed water heater type being either gas or electric. When the proposed design specifies an electric water heater, the compliance software sets the standard design to a generic brand heat pump water heater, which includes the following specifications. NIA Tier 3 heat pump water heater with a capacity of 50 gallons, UEF rating of 2.0 with a unit located in either the garage or outdoors, depending on the climate zone the project is located in. Please refer to Table 24 in Chapter 2 of the Residential ACM Manual for further information. Now let's get started on our demonstration. For this demonstration, we're starting with a simple residential new construction project located in Climate Zone 7, San Diego, California. First thing we want to do is locate the plant level inputs in our building tree. These are located directly below the building level inputs that's currently highlighted in our model tree. By clicking the icon, you'll notice that the screen changes to our water heating inputs. Currently, the name of our water heating system is set at DHW system. This is a user defined input and you can name your systems anything you like. Next, click the Domestic Hot Water tab. The screen changes to provide inputs for our domestic hot water system. Currently, the status is set at New. We want to leave this at New for a residential new construction project. Next, we want to click on the New Boiler tab. This will open the library of water heaters currently stored in Energy Pro. You'll notice that a heat pump water heater is not currently configured in our library. Therefore, we need to create one. Select any of the water heaters in the list and hit the Add New button. This will create a copy of the water heater selected so that we can edit it to configure to a generic heat pump water heater. Currently, we'll leave the name of this water heater as is and we'll let the software fill it in for us. First, select the type of water heater. Change it from a gas-fired water heater to a heat pump water heater. You'll notice that the heat pump type appears as well as some instruction on how to import a water heater. We'll leave the heat pump type as residential NEA rated and then select the import button at the top of the dialog box. Select the heat pump water heater. You'll notice that a list of heat pump water heaters are displayed. These are all NEA tier three and higher heat pump water heaters. Next, you want to find the generic brand heat pump water heater from the list. You can either scroll to the very bottom of that list. And you'll see that at the bottom or you can use some of the filter features. Use the drop down menu under brand and select generic. This will filter out all other units and only display the generic brand that we're looking for. Hit the select button and this will populate not only the name but also the characteristics of that generic UEF 2.0 50 gallon heat pump water heater. The gallons are equal to 50 gallons of volume the input rating currently anything less than a 12 kW water heater uh, would be allowed to use as a generic heat pump water heater. For this illustration we're leaving the input at 40,000 BTUs. Additionally the uniform energy factor has already been set for us at 2.0. Hit the OK button and you've just created a generic UEF 2.0 heat pump water heater which is equal to the standard design heat pump water heater when modeling new construction. To receive a compliance credit for a heat pump water heater requires using a specified make and model number unit, which must be listed on the NIA Advanced Water Heater Specification Qualified Products list as a Tier 3 or higher rating. 
Let's demonstrate how to input a Ream model number Pro H50 T2 RH310 BM unit in Energy Pro. We're back in our Energy Pro demonstration file. First thing you want to do is select the DHW system from our model tree. Then select the domestic hot water tab. And next, select the new boiler button. This will reopen the library of water heaters in Energy Pro. Next, select the generic heat pump water heater that we just created and select the Add New button. This will create a copy of the heat pump water heater that we can modify to represent our specified brand heat pump water heater. Now select the Import button and click Heat Pump Water Heater. Next, find the Ream brand products from the list by either scrolling down to the right or use the filter features from the brand name column and selecting the Ream product. This will only display the product that you've selected. Next, find the model number among the list in the model number column. Our model number is a Pro H50 T2 RH310BM. It's a 50 gallon unit. Once you've found the unit that you're looking for, click the select button. This will not only change the name of the water heater to match the name that you've selected, but it will also input all the other characteristics of that water heater for the performance calculation. Once you select the OK button, you are finished modeling a specified brand heat pump water heater. When modeling heat pump water heaters, it's important to identify the proposed location of the unit. This input is located on the same tab as the heat pump water heater under domestic hot water. Under heat pump water heaters, select the location that best represents the location of your proposed water heater. These include the garage, outside, inside, crawl space, and attic. Select the appropriate location based on the proposed design of your project. If that location is inside the condition space, this also requires you to input the zone or the room name in which the water heater is located. Select it from the drop down menu and select the location where that water heater would be. If the water heater is located in the garage, select garage. Or likewise, if the water heater is located outside in a closet, select the outside location and this will model the water heater outdoors. This concludes part two of this series. Be sure to catch either part one, introduction to heat pump water heaters, or part three, how to model heat pump water heaters in CBEC Res. If you have any questions regarding how to model heat pump water heaters, either leave a comment below or email acetvenergycodeace.com. Please consider hitting the like button if you thought this content was helpful, as well as subscribing to the Energy Code Ace YouTube channel. Also click the notification bell if you would like to be notified of when new videos are available. We appreciate you watching this video.